Hi, I'm Angela Hicks and welcome to Hicks Vocal Studio. Today we're going to talk about effective practicing. Too often we find ourselves in a practice session just singing through the pieces and not really focusing on making sure that we're building correct vocal technique into each piece that we're singing. Today I would like to give you a method I call the layering method that will help you build your vocal technique into the pieces that you're singing. It may feel a little tedious at first, but if you stick with it, you'll see how much quicker your body will take on to adapting to correct vocal technique, and it, all, it ultimately saves you time in the process. I'm just going to use the phrase, Mary had a little lamb, as an example for building correct technique into a piece. So the first thing that you're going to do, and this is particularly helpful if you're doing the piece in a foreign language, is you're simply going to speak the words and the rhythms, making sure that you have that down correctly. Mary had a little lamb. See how simple that was? And once you feel satisfied that you have the words and the rhythms correct in whatever small phrase that you want to choose, I say no more than... 16 bars, but I prefer 8 to 10 bars depending upon how long the phrase is. Then you can move on to the next step, making sure that you're doing that phrase with the correct posture. So you'll be focusing on your posture while you're saying the words in correct rhythm. So we want to make sure that we have grounded feet, open ribs, floaty head, and everything else is in a relaxed, suspended state in between. Mary had a little lamb. Once you feel satisfied that your posture is built in, you can focus on the breath. We want to make sure that we're expanding low through the ribs and through the abdomen and that we're engaging at the pelvic floor for support. Mary had a little lamb. The next step would be to make sure that we have the sound placed in our nasal pharynx, in our mask area, and that it's not resonating in our mouth. We have a good separation between sound and shape. Mary had a little lamb. It feels very robotic and it sounds very funny, but it's very important to feel that separation of sound and shape. Mary had a little lamb. The next step would be to intone it, which means that we're speaking approximately the correct pitches so we can feel the rise and fall and how the sound is going to be moving in our nasal pharynx when we do go to sing. Mary had a little lamb. You don't have to be precise with the pitches, but just make sure that as the pitches move up on the page, the sound is moving up in the nasal pharynx, and as the pitches move down on the page, the sound is moving down in the nasal pharynx. Mary had a little lamb. The final step would be to sing it. Once we feel satisfied that we are working in the posture, the breath, the support, the placement, the resonance, we have a good separation of sound and shape, then we can add the pitches. Mary had a little lamb. I do advise my students as they're doing this and they're learning the rhythms that they can go ahead and listen to a recording um, so they can get the tune familiarized, whether they have an accompanist record it or they're listening to somebody sing it, so they can familiarize themselves with the tune while they're speaking it and while they're practicing intoning it, especially if they don't play the piano. Okay, I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to contact me at Angela at HicksVocalStudio.com. Visit my Facebook page at HicksVocalStudio.com and leave a comment. And in the meantime, keep singing.